happy to not be dealing with you both industries. That sounds very, very elitist. You don't like our industry. No, I don't like your industry. I need, I need, I need like a little business slash break. The level of promotion that artists used to do back in the day cannot be enough now. No, it's not. You have to do extra. Do you not think that Ira and Thames are being drowned out? Even Ashake is drowned out. Radio cannot blow a song anymore. God. One album that I know that people have been talking about and raving about on social media and I've not seen one single bad feedback about the album is Victoni's album. Victoni is a star. Well, he's not a superstar yet. I feel like everybody likes this guy. People loved P Square. I don't think I feel like everybody they like, love P Square music. I, I they don't hear. like P Square. Personality. Personality. That's a lie. And we are back. Every time I say we are back, I don't know why Tlan is always looking at me so confused. But we are actually back. Lamborghini Euros, I didn't match up. I didn't match up. I didn't match up. I'm not doing this again. You know the part of match up that I love? You say, boom, 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 boom. Tlan, me and Ogazo, you push shut up. Let me do my intro, please. Do not take away my voice. Let me do my intro. Welcome to Zero Conditions Podcast. Horror. I like your shoes. Period. Thank you. I didn't match up. <laughs> Don't mention the person I made it for you. No. <laughs> Plan names is not about money. They're not paying us. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. Welcome to Zero Conditions Podcast brought to you by Pop Central. Like Tony will always say, this is the podcast that you should be listening to. This is the only podcast that matters. We see your feedback. We see your comments on YouTube. I read the comments. Every it's okay. day. It's okay. I There's <laughs> not to be seen. <laughs> And shout out to everyone sending us messages on, you know, WhatsApp, sorry, on Twitter, Instagram, and also via Gmail. At some, at some point, we're going to create time to, listen to, to read out all the messages and send out shout out. The person that won the you Shiva's record two weeks ago, you still have not come to take your drink. I see that you don't need it. You want Tony to drink it. He's always drinking it. And that's on period. I don't drink anymore. Tony, that's it. Like, you just finish drinking. Stop pretending. Like... Own it. We've got Ogalolu in the building. He's known as Ogalolu on Twitter. If you follow him, he used Ogale to give goes. two cents until he stopped giving two cents. Until he, until he joined the music <laughs> industry. And we've also and got Dennis became... in the building. Mr. Dennis Adepita. <laughs> industry giant. Is he Naza? Naza man. Naza man. When did I ever give two cents? <laughs> Ogalolu no, used to use. I make rest. Wow. Sure, but Dennis used. Does he? Does he give two cents? Dennis. I don't. In like 2017, yes. Nah, that was, that was like five years nah, ago. I used to throw people there, but now. Nah, nah. I just watch you would do your. Thing. Oh, you were a buju before. <laughs> <laughs> That's my guy. Yeah, that's my guy. Wow. They booted and you stopped. And then you true. decided then to. Then you got elevated. Then you stopped being a true. Well, no, not that I got. That the pipeline. I got old. You got old. Yeah, I got old. When a nigga, when people are trolling. Tolani, 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 Tolani knows a lot about. Old, but I think Tolani has so much. I'm getting there. Don't worry about Tolani. Slowly, I'm getting there. No, no, I don't even. I don't even see. I, I just hate people. Oh my god, Tolani, leave it. Are people still hate the fact that I hate? Tolani, let me. Like melody and yum yum. Let me get there. So then it used to be would you like? So he doesn't buju light anymore because he got older. Baby buju. Baby buju. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. please. Buju, buju kids. <laughs> don't show that narrative out there, please. Just, <laughs> just, yeah, that buju thing that you keep mentioning, let's just keep it somewhere. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> buju Bensi. Yeah. Yeah, That's oh, my yeah. guy. My like um, How are you, Dennis? Well, I'm good. Happy to not be dealing with you both industry thing as much. So wow. happy for that. That sounds very, very elitist. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. you know, I, I was, that's what I was going for. You don't, you don't like our industry? No, I don't like your industry. I need, I need, I need like a little distance slash break. Now people just text me. I'll be like, oh, are you still there? I'm like, nah, text Emmanuel. You know Emmanuel. That so I just uh, yeah. text Emmanuel oh, or, em- or email him. Like those are the guys that you wish you're talking to. So maybe next year I'll, I'll decide to like start covering music once again. But for now, like I need that small What do you cover now? Uh, um, African politics, some culture, a lot of sports. Just doing more stuff to be a well-rounded journalist. Yeah, pretty much. Do you enjoy it? Oh, much, uh, do you enjoy it more than when you were covering music? Uh, I'm enjoying it right now because I'm learning a lot. But like when I was covering music, because I knew that I was really good at what I was like, I like there was nothing you could tell me to do as far as covering music that's related to Africa that like. I couldn't do so i i didn't have like any challenges challenges per se like i could spend hours just trying to crack kids and now i'm still doing the same thing so it's, it's fun i'm enjoying it i think 
retrospectively, I will be able to say, but right now, I'm really enjoying I'm learning a lot. So, it's you, you know, this one that you should, be, they should be singing for Dennis. Kola Zama, Kola Zama. I don't have changed it. <laughs> Mahala boy, go, go. Nae Gugu. Bro. Nae Gugu, you be brother. Do you love for now? I do. How you do? I do like the end day. So, industry baby. Yeah. Oh, you're Leonard's ex. Um, exactly, Leonard's oh, ex. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, did you get? Is that is that a this shirt is, from? Yeah, this is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is a is a Sony baby? Uh, be like so, yeah. yeah it's yeah. Colombia. Why are you saying be like so? No, be like yeah. so. Just just say he's just a tinge. Fuck off. <laughs> you are going. Are you going to claim your baby or not? Microphone. He's paying your salary. I'm going to claim he's he's a Sony baby. He's paying your salary. <laughs> You understand? Yeah, big, 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 big. He's claiming your salary. He's paying your salary. Actually, bro. actually. You understand? So, to like an extent. on this podcast, one of these days, I was, I was talking about to an extent. and Kendrick. And then I realized that. That is... You know? Mm, if not... Anyway. I mean, he, he did brag about it. I'm not the one that said it. He said, lights in the universal beauty clips flickering because of me. Yes, sir. He said it. And yeah, when you people carry 400, 400 million to give him? Bro... Yes, I don't know what you're bro, talking bro. about. Sure let's <laughs> focus. <laughs> let's focus on our podcast, please. <laughs> exactly. We are not here to talk music. <laughs> we are here to talk. Music. Um, Melody, is this getting too much for you already? You have never said anything. Yeah, go go. You have never started. And you work on you work in the music industry too. Yeah. I don't actually. That's why these days I'm always so happy when they're having dumbass conversations. Melody, why are you lying that you don't work in the music don't. industry? I really actually don't. I'm actually so happy. Like when he, where do you work? Media. I shall don't work in TV. I'm actually so happy when he says when he said that. I'm, this is very elitist. I, I get the why fact, you are so I love the fact today? that I don't have to deal with you people. I love it so. Well, much you deal with music people every day. Well, not on that way. I do. I do comms. I don't owe any artist anything. So if they say if I can if I see your album, I see your album is rubbish. Is rubbish. If I don't like your album. I see your album. I don't like your album. But you have not said that. So in nobody. Mind. I. But I, you're not saying I have to be listening to music. When you guys talk that, I don't say anybody's music is. Man, rubbish. let me I can just put you on that she says she doesn't look, listen to music that much. I don't, as it. much. I don't. Should I say something controversial? Yeah, please. The last time somebody said they don't listen to music on this podcast, at the end. You didn't go idiot. <laughs> what? I said, at the end. <laughs> no, but that, that's just a different conversation. But I they're going to knock your soul. What? Well, I boy, no, go, I literally go, said, go. I don't listen to music as much as I used to. I don't. It's okay. I don't as much. That's I don't. fair. That's I actually mean. fair. But me, <laughs> no, I, 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 I can't. I cannot do it. I don't. I can't not listen to it. But I, dude, I, I was so pleasantly surprised when, because one album that I know that people have been talking about and raving about on social media, and I've not seen one single bad feedback about the album is Victoria's album. Yeah. And a lot of times when people hype an album a lot, these days it's difficult on Twitter to know when something is organic or when they are just activating Twitter people to come and tweet and Facts. Sing. Especially the day that the album drops. You don't know whether people that are saying, I saw somebody that was tweeting about an album, 12.02. The album dropped at 12. But they probably listened to it before then. You are not a music head. You know if that If you now. like, no film. <laughs> <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> You are not a music. You are if not you a, like, don't belong to music. Twitter that sent your album before. I just know that you were paid to say that. So I feel like she, even for me, do you know that even the influencers get the music before I, journalists know? Is it all the influencers? The powerful ones okay, get I'm the music. That, you're not one of them. Oh, is the person not a powerful? No. Thing? And why are you following the person as well? I'm not following for? you. Oh, for you page, you just, yeah, because I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't clear your for you page. Don't I don't even look at point. following. I, don't, I only look at for, for you page. You need to, you need to, you need to clear your square for you don't. page. You need to touch your algorithm. <laughs> you know, my like, I want powerful influencers, Coco. I don't even so want to be powerful. You know powerful. <laughs> I intentionally don't because I don't want to see on like I don't want to see biased opinion. Oh my! Did you see someone that said we should not speak your about the pod again? I saw it. Yeah, sorry. Am I being? We do so. Start doing wazobi. I need to go and learn how to say it. But that's what I was saying. So when people were talking about Victoria's album, I'm like, hmm, I haven't listened, and I wanted to listen so badly. Yeah. So these days I have to schedule everything. Oh, I'm going to listen to this at this time, but I have not had time to. So today, um, a playlist that was created by one of our influencers. She so she added risk. Victoria's risk Bedu. to the playlist. Get ready with me playlist. And I went to, I was just listening to the playlist, listening to her choice of music, and I heard that song. I was like, what? That's the first time you heard it. That's the first time I heard it. Risk. 
<laughs> so I you see that, that record, I right? Genuinely... Immediately I hear it. I like, it it takes me straight to Fiend. So no, yeah. it didn't. It, it takes me. It, it like so. The thing is, I've not listened to the album. Oh, properly. I can hear about the cadences. I don't hear it with. I've the, not heard the album properly, right? I've picked one or two. It actually takes me to. It takes me to that Nicki Minaj song. Which one? Um, the one that blew up last year. Which one? Um, that had the same. <laughs> Is it that she was singing um, rapping? Yeah. Kind of song? Um, is it the intro on the album? Uh, no. There's not the intro. It was a I hit song. 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 It was a smash hit from the album. It was a really big song. Yeah, it was a massive I'm gonna, song. No, but that, 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 so the thing is, with, I think it was in Uzi Vert or something. I've only just seen that project, that um, Risk. Is it, are you um, gone already? No. But Risk is like, people are doing like dances to it. Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing it on, I'm seeing, I'm seeing like the activations, right? Yeah. like, every time I see it, that first thing everybody? Everybody. Yeah, 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 reminds me of everybody. Yeah, every okay, yeah, it reminds me of everybody. But I can see the thing. So he, the guy loves music. He, if you speak to him, you understand that he thinks. Nah. So there's a chance that maybe he was inspired. Maybe you, if I, maybe yeah. he was just influenced. The but the is question so is, do you so so after that song, then I went to play the album. Oh, you don't like the album? Yeah. That was the first time I like. Shout out to shout out to um um me and um KD. I am the real. We had a conversation before the album dropped, and I said, "Listen, bro, this is a brilliant album." I told him this, and the most important thing here is this: Do you think Vic Tony? I'm asking all of you. Do you think Vic Tony? People are not. Sh- sh- there's nobody that said anything bad on it because Vic Tony doesn't have hate haters. Doesn't have haters. I think nobody has. Hey, nobody has. I cracked it, didn't I? Wait, wait, no, no, no. I think it's, nobody has said much about it because it's not, it's not as everywhere as a Victoria album should be, right? Um, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. First of all, I think what you are missing is like the full trajectory. Like Victoria SoundCloud, like was rapping and stuff like yep. that. Then next thing he does this EP where he's singing, yeah, and like that's what really brings him up. The next yeah. thing, the accident happens, and like a lot more people are tuned into him. And, and he drops hit, Apollo. Hits. Yeah, he has like a bunch of hit songs. And I think the thing is, albums are they can be really fickle things in the sense that you drop and like everybody's like, oh, this is really nice. And like they've turned their head. And we Nigerian music industry is right now, like <clears throat> everybody waited. Like the big guys waited. And like it's back to back now. Like Arasta started like 10, everybody one by one. Which is what I say. What so so the part about maybe it not being everywhere, I don't really so I don't really what, what I mean is getting the hype that it deserves. Um, I think it's a really good album, like Tolani said, really, really good. Even my flapping was saying that before I literally lived, I was like, oh, I listened to this Victorious album, it's really good. So good. But it's really, really good. Um, I think it could use more attention, but I think part of that is probably because there's there's so many really good songs that you not pick the one. Like you said, you've seen the risk activation, but before then, like was doing these videos around Bastard, um, don't, Bastard be don't be silly. So like I think when you pick the one that you want to pick and at the end of the day, as much as everybody's dropping albums, you still want like two hits of that album. So like, if you're doing one, and and that one is popping off somewhere, like your your That's attention going to yeah, be. That. So what yeah. me I I'm saying from that is because of like what you said about so many people dropping music, I feel like it's drowned out. So you don't show me, owe me a bottle of Jameson. Speaking about music, I've given you that j- bottle. No, you're not giving me. I've not. No. Tolani, right? Ah, well, conversation, I. really? Yeah. <laughs> I just is that, alcohol. I love Tolani. <laughs> No, actually, I think I think I have. No, you have not. Continue. No, but oh no worries. Ah, Jimmy since he wants you. <laughs> wants you. Wants you. Shivas. Okay, 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 cool. Shivas Amara. Um, but yeah, I I'm, I think it's drowned out because there's so many projects that have been like it's it's almost like they released the Nigerian entertainment um, music scene. I said H two. Everybody go, <laughs> and everybody has since like. Why do you think that's it? Everybody was chilling till the end of Salah now. Why? Mm-mm. why because you want music is products you want people to be able to use your products right mm. you want, and you want people to be in the mood or the, the right head right space. head space to you use don't your think product. That's something to do with i mean uh. in previous times the people would drop so yes. all the times when mm-hmm. Sa- when salah or ramadan was in june mm. july People will drop before summer because then you're supposed to go on tour. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. you're supposed to go for um, the festivals, events. right? Yeah. But this year, it when it was in April, you can't. Or it was. Well, it was April now, right? 
you can't really do that and sabotage yourself because as much as you want to go outside of like the outside of africa yeah. right your primary base is still nigeria so yeah. if you don't pop in nigeria nothing for you outside not for nigerian artists they don't think like that anymore. more often than not is what they are wrong but they don't <laughs> think like that anymore. more often than not so that, that's what will happen so i'm sure that's why a lot of people chilled and waited till that, after that period. ramadan to stop and then it's like it's so much music out these days it's, it's ridiculous yeah it's I, insane. I agree with you and I agree with Tolani too. I feel like most people chilled till the summer festival thing to drop the, the music because they wanted to like get booked in those festivals. I also agree Which with I you that. Is, okay, sorry. I also agree with you that the reason he's the music is not. Did you say the reason he's not getting? No, no, no. I don't agree with you that the reason he's not getting haters is because the music is not as loud as it should. No, be. no, no. I don't. I'm not saying haters. I'm just saying attention. Okay, I agree with you that the music is not getting attention yeah, as much as it should. And I also think that I don't agree that it's because a lot of songs are out at this at this period in the you know now because Arista also dropped her music mm-hmm. in the middle of a chaotic music releasing season, and that album still got attention. I think that. It is in the i feel like it is in the promotion around the album mm. i don't think it's about plenty songs being dropped because i know that the period i rasta dropped her music it felt like that was the only thing we were hearing everywhere mm. people were talking about it endlessly the same thing mm. with thames i feel like it was in how the music was marketed i don't think it's because a lot of songs dropped a lot of songs will always drop or they did for a while now in the music industry but some songs and some albums still get spoken about religiously on social media mm. due to promotion or also like people loving the album and i feel like these days the level of promotion that artists used to do back in the day cannot be enough now no it's not you have to do extra so if you had a different format or a different period of time where you do your promotion back in the day and trying to use the same format now it's not going to work because the amount of songs that people drop now will drown whatever promotion you're doing because it's not as loud or as large as it should be so i think it's just a promotion sorry and before I, before see. you go yeah. do you not think that ira and thames have been for like the level that they are right they had that one week of their drop mm-hmm. don't you think that as of right now they are being drowned out yep Ira has been drowned out. Mm-hmm. Ira I, don't think, I don't think Ira has so been drowned out. The, so right now. I it's mean, like, so. it's, like it's three, not as loud. It's like three conversations, right? We're talking about like Victoria's album. We're talking about the reception of Victoria's album. And we're talking about like how people get drowned out. Let's be honest. Yes. Unless you are Ashake. And before you dropped your album, you had a string of fucking hits and you monopolized the entire industry. It's unlikely that you drop an album and you're going to monopolize everywhere. And then, even after, it's not just, it's not going to be just about you now monopolizing the al- the industry because you release an album after a string of hits. The album has to be great, right? It's where people are finding things that they like, right? And then when people are finding things that they like, your company, the company that you're assigned to, then has to push the right song. It's very important because there will be a time, no matter how much of a nice build-up you have, no matter how great the album is, it's not going to sustain itself. It will sustain the conversations. Mm-hmm. Now, with someone like Vic Tony, right? I think a lot has to do with the fact that it doesn't have haters. I think doesn't have haters. That's like when I'm not say, talking about the music as much. No, I think that's a thing, right? Right, you need a little bit of hate sometimes. Let's be honest. A lot of hate, a little bit of hate, trans um, affected the the conversations around the Rema album. Like there were a lot of rival stand bases that had a lot of unpleasant yes, things to say. Yes, yes, of Rema course, album. yes. Do you understand? A little bit of hate is good on social media, on digital. Now, the unfortunate thing about where we are as a people is that it's we are in the earliest days of an industry that is fully driven by digital. Either you like it or not. The traditional platforms don't have as much power anymore. And even in the digital era, <clears throat> the blogs don't have as much power anymore. So it's mostly social and DSP. That's just the truth. Like the 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 traditional platforms cannot. I don't know how to say this without hurting feelings, but I think it's just a truth. And I'm not even trying to hurt feelings by saying it. I'm not trying to be insensitive. You don't even know what I'm about to say. The truth is, the traditional platforms cannot blow songs anymore. They can only amplify and sustain. So, okay, okay, I get, you understand? I get that. I, 
like my energy knows about I think I should just say I've been trying to say it for weeks, but I think I should try to say radio cannot blow a song anymore. God. <laughs> so here's what true? I think, right? So let me break down what she just said. First thing is then it's why you doing that. Even what? Ashake, what? I even anything. Sorry, continue. Lulu. <laughs> <laughs> even Ashake is drowned out because he dropped. I don't know why he mentioned Ashake. I was just like, no, dropped, no, 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 no. I was talking. I was referring you were just to referring to. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. That's one. Okay. I don't want to yeah. point that out. Uh, okay. So okay. Um, but Sorry, please let me finish my point so that you can. Yeah. I wanted to just you. jump on the radio points, right? Because no, I understand. Just let me okay, just okay, finish okay. my point. So with Victoria, right? The first problem, first point is. Victoni is a star. Yep. But he's not a superstar yet. Right? When you get to the level of superstardom, a lot of things come with that. And part of that is haters. And part of that is that you can monopolize, you can monopolize attention. Now, a lot of people, just because he's not on the superstar level yet, and because of his story that Dennis was mentioning, the story is very admirable. And now, when he became a, when he ascended into the realms of a star, it was on the back of both talents and a lot of sympathy people wanting and rooting for him to succeed because unfortunately it came on the back of his accident mm. now the good thing about the boy is that victory is also not problematic yep it really just does it's not problematic he just, does just does his music he's friends with everybody nobody has a problem victory has spice so don't get me wrong. <laughs> when he came on this pod, you can hear it. Not necessarily. He has spice. I don't so, think so. This is the pod again. Trust me. He has spice. He has spice. Right? He has things. You remember the issue, the conversation with Omale or so on time ago? Okay, cool. He has spice. He has some spice. Right? But it's not his brand. And I and the good thing about him and his team is they don't project that spicy side. It's more about the music, the very yep. amiable personality, even fashion the fashion sense, the fashion. The vocals are very friendly, mm. right? It's so good. So it now means that because of those things and the fact that he has not ascended to level, by the time you reach superstardom, there is no way you're not going to have it. Else. So the good thing about that is that you can release an album that is great, and most people are not detracting it. I Do you understand? I I think it also happened with somebody that Lulu might not like Lamba. Who? I think as good as um, I think I was Timeless asking. was. Uh-huh. Right, because of the did you see any bad review of Timeless? Because I, I did not, I didn't, I didn't see any bad review of Timeless, and I don't think it's off sympathy. I think it's I'm off. Not saying, I'm not even saying see. So I didn't know you were going. Empathy. It's not even sympathy. <laughs> Emp- Emp- I don't think so. I think the right? album was just really I mean, good. The album was great. Yes, but people didn't have anything to say about it because the timing of you saying something bad would have been wrong. Do you think that that is his best album ever? Timeless. That's a good question. Yes. That's a very good question. That's an easy, that's an easy answer for answer. me. A good time is the best album. Yeah. Hey, so, ah, uh, ah, actually, ah, I'm t- comfortable. Over timeless. Album. Like, if you go back and listen. Wait, wait, wait. You know, wait, so wait, let me tell he you. has a point. I can't let, lie. Let me tell you. He has a so, point. So, you have to actually think. So, last year, <laughs> I, last year, I interviewed the video we were talking. And, like, I sort of asked him, but he didn't answer. And, like, obviously, you think about those things. Sure, you understand. There's somebody that will tell you a better time because nah. no, I don't think anybody oh, no, will say a better no, time. No, there's somebody that will probably tell you. Like, I have one or two friends that I definitely think will. A better time. But why I would say, I think why in, I would say a good time is, is a good time. I think the video was quick to move on from because it was the narrative around it was seven years. Did not drop album. If I finally dropped album after dropping many hits. So it was like, well, I'm moving off of that. I've dropped the album. I, that was a mistake. I already had the sound. I think that was a mistake too, mm-hmm. personally. But every time I go back and listen, I'm like, mistake. this album is. Incredibly coherent. Yep. It is. It is well <laughs> executed. It is. It is well executed to the T. Like you can literally pick any song from that album, play it randomly, and like I know where this this song belongs. Now I'm going to you can't take any song from a better time and be like, oh, yes, this significant. Like, I agree. A good time is literally it's a good coherent. time. Like you yes, can it's tell a good that time. it's very very coherent. It's a good. But sorry, I, sorry. I, I, I th- please go. melody, please go. Sorry. sorry, I think that it, I think Timeless is the best album for me Fair from David O. I can see why you're saying that. What? Um, I, I am sure that I is not recessive. Nope. I can see. I'm a point. big I'm a big fan of a good time. Do you understand? That was a brilliant album, but Timeless. I don't think Timeless. Is I, 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 think, I, I think I think a good as time. a body of work. 
It's, I, it's, just, exactly. It's thank you for saying that's a body of work. work. As thank a body of work, I, I would hear that. I would as hear a body that. of work, no. I would hear a that. A good time was a really good album. A good, a good and time. And the flow of I don't the song to the other time, one. I, 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 thank you. I might not say it's an. I, I'm not going to say it's an excellent album. Yeah. But in David's discography, that's, of that's course, the so, one. That's what we're talking about. In so, discography. okay, that was an EP. But that's by the way. Um, Victoria, before we go ahead from yeah, Victoria yeah, conversation. Yeah, first thing, Radio Red. Yeah, first. <laughs> me? Everybody. We move. <laughs> um, radio Red. Yeah. So here's yeah. one thing, Red. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of times, people forget, forget that. It's not just Lagos. Exactly. I hear you. And I understand you saying radio is unable to break an artist <laughs> or or break a record but i honest but there is also the fact that it's not many of us that are actually streaming i hear you yes so like so it's afford there's not many of us that can afford it, to be streaming Lulu, it's, it's not the streaming part it's the discovery part yeah so even like the discovery that's what i'm saying on streaming platform no. you reference streaming i'm saying what, what i'm saying I said digital i said social media so that's what i'm yeah. telling you that's what i'm saying because if you even if you check like your analytics one of the first things you check is your shazams mm-hmm. right where are you where are the shazams coming from i don't think a lot of them are coming from radio. it's coming from radio, radio you know okay. most most times read people discover songs on radio, radio and then they shazam and then they actually utilize on streaming i platform. think i've actually mentioned this on the pod before because I, i'm having flashbacks to where i said something about lagos and other parts of the country i think on yes, the episode, you, yeah. last episode you, you explained yeah, it that you feel I, like I traditionally so radio has power outside of Lagos. yeah so here's yeah. the problem I hear you on the impact of outside Lagos. But those places outside Lagos cannot make hits. I disagree. They can't. When I say hits, in what sense? I'm not saying are? local hits. Okay. Global. Do you understand? There are chances of Lagos inspiring all those places. Lagos Lagos, not even just Abuja can't inspire everybody. Yeah. If Abuja could inspire Lagos, Odumodu would not. If I if I could inspire everybody, Odumodu would not leave, need Lagos. But yeah. he said Lagos didn't make him. Mm. I can hear that. I can hear what he's trying to say about that. It's two different things. But it's two different things. But when he needed to explode, you come to cosmopolitan cities. There's a reason why your Gotti is going to leave the South to come to New York, New York for breakfast club interview when he wants to release an album. There's yeah. a reason. Right? Yeah. There's a reason why I'm talking at the height of Breakfast Club, by the way. Not, maybe not. Even I, till I, now. Please, I beg, even till now. Which can't hide. Even, even till now. I still did watch them every day. Joking? <laughs> please. <laughs> anyway, the point is. The point is. <laughs> the become... point is. Um, yes, but when you, what you, you really deep it when you realize that even outside of Lagos, the job that those people are now, the job that radio might be doing is still very important of because course. nothing can amplify and make your music travel like radio. Mm. Nothing. Nothing in this country can. That's Maybe even true. in Africa. That's not true. Aside from SA. TikTok. TikTok can't. How many Nigerians are on TikTok? Okay, I'm going to... Real that quick. Me. I was yeah. in the battle two weeks ago and I heard Odile so so on the radio and I'm like, there's no way anybody in the is playing Odile. But somebody was playing. It was on the radio. Like I'm like. See, let me know, let me bust your head. I'm an Ibadan boy. Ibado. Trust me, there's a lot of people. But Ibadan is also a cultural hub. For it's also a cultural things. hub. But I'm talking about. I understand, like, right? But I get like, what you mean. But as far as like, like perception, it's like because obviously Ibadan has produced like wonderful talents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. down is down is not even the, this. Like, but like I had the audio song. And I'm like, it came on after like the skills, the new skills song, and I'm like, how? Oh, I'm like, okay, fair. You probably heard it, heard it on Beat FM. But wait, right? I, and don't even, I don't even know the original. It's, it's probably Beat FM. FM. But like, that's how so, they do but like, but like, yeah. like you said, it's good for amplifying. I, I don't think it's yeah. I don't think... I don't think it's broken. I don't think, think it's, it's powerful. Broken. Like he said, like, like I, I disagree. So I kind I of disagree. agree. I kind of agree with what Tolani is saying in the sense that if if you're going to break a record now, first thing we're going to talk about, you start talking about TikTok influencers and Instagram. Like, that's yeah. what you start talking Influence about. Yeah. Been. There's a reason why that's first thing we'll talk about. Yep. Because honestly, the truth is, a lot of the time, radio plays catch up. Yep. Mm-hmm. Especially in the last two years. Yep. Yes! But I'm not saying, I think it's, that's I, I said, I think kind of, last, I'm not saying I, I agree with Tumful. I'm not saying you can't break an artist. Like, when I, when Mokwe came out, I yeah. knew Mokwe for like, two, three weeks before like radio, before I started hearing it on the radio. Yeah. I find, granted, I'm not like a radio person, like as I was yeah. maybe seven, eight years ago. 
But like, I feel like radio pl- played cut off so, um, so catch up. So I shake rather. Yeah. Of course. So catch up. Sorry. Was it that? Was it that? Was it that? One of them things. You don't need drink. Nah, it's not the drink. But yeah, radio was playing catch up to Shake, and I think that that's not a bad thing. I don't think so. It's not a bad thing. But like Tolani said, I sort of agree. I don't fully agree that you can't use the radio as like a primary tool but like there's a reason why all the artists will still go everybody before i start dropped the album yes. before she left nigeria to go to the u.s to do her promo she it's went it. to like three or four reasons that i know yes. so are there, are there, are there songs know. that blew up on social media using tiktok that we never that I radio think, did not even i'll so, say one thing i'll say one radio thing. I, think, I think the last artist that amplified. radio blew like blew, from Ali. is on yep after Omali, every other person had to There's Omali. so many songs that you hear on TikTok everybody. that you would hardly hear so on many. radio. So and also, let's not forget that the songs that have a higher chance of penetrating outside of Lagos to radio stations outside of... Um, sorry, there are certain songs that blew up in Lagos that have a very low chance of being played in other, in other cities. Take, for example, how many of the songs... How many songs by Ote artists would you play outside of radio? Outside of Lagos? You. How many extreme, like, do you get, there's, there's some songs that are too, I don't want to use the wrong words, it doesn't sound like being well, consistent. You can't, you can't judge, like, this song does not you can't judge the niche with the, against the mainstream. Yep. Okay, I hear that. I'm just saying that. Ah, I'm serious, I hear that. But I just feel like oh, there's certain yeah. songs that sound the type of way that you have a higher chance of hearing in Lagos that some radio stations, because of because radio is about relatability. Yeah. If they feel like this this song is too, bougie, is too bougie, and but it's too bougie, they crap, they won't play it. Yeah. I said it could be played in all those stations because of the relatability and the language. There's no mm. language barrier. Do you understand? There are certain places that you, you they won't and play some songs. because it was hot, it's going to play in the southeast. Yeah. And so but, I, I, sorry, Lulu, you have something to say. So what I just wanted to say is, at the end of the day, right? I get what you're saying with digital being like taking the lead right now. I think now. the earliest days. The early, yeah, the earliest days. Yeah, and I understand that, but I just don't really. So when I project, obviously you want to see, like, in the near future, this and this and this and this, but like. The reason why digital can become like fully like the only or yet. primary yet r- yeah is when we get to a point where smartphones are fully fully um, penetrated to Nigeria. <sighs> so right? internet penetration in Nigeria. Sorry to cut you. Internet penetration in Nigeria is close to forty percent now. Close to forty percent now. It's not a lot. I think the global benchmark is nearing 70% now. Exactly. But 40% of Nigeria, if we're really 200 million people, over 200 million people, is about... It's a million. 80 million people. That's a lot of fucking niggas. Right? Now, the problem is this. What you need to think about is around 54.6% of the country is under 19 years old. What's the demographic of TikTok? So it means that people that are making hits are not us. Mm-hmm. The Gen Zs. They are not that, us. No, we. They are not the people in this room. What do you mean? Like, wait, wait, wait. I'm still Gen. Me, I'm Gen Z. Yes, oh, yes. Yeah, you are Gen Z. Gen Z are the ones with power now. Dennis, uh, you are you. Made Ali Pesa. Dennis, you are not that old. <laughs> you are Gen Z. I'm, I'm very <laughs> Gen Z. I don't put you. You are not Gen Z. No, I'm, I'm. 97 Gen Z starts from 97. Fuck, nigga. These <laughs> <laughs> are actually the ones like with the. It's not even Gen Z. It's Gen Z that's close to Gen Alpha now. Oh, yeah, I know. Like, Lolu is an Arab boy. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? <laughs> like, you, you are. You Gen Z are talking about you are are your, your traits are millennial. No, Let's yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, so, like, yeah. I, have, I have a friend. Yeah. She's 24, and I'm like, she's always telling me that she's older. And I'm looking at her like, if I slap you, <laughs> they give me in 2000. Jeez. Can you fu- can you shut the they fuck up, like, nigga? 2000. I watch you 2000, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know that party climbers for this gold. I wrote 2000. Yeah, very nice. So he's like, I mean, I get, I get what you're saying, but like, uh, yeah, see, you are near, you are nearer to us than them. <laughs> you are nearer to us than them. No, no, no. I'm one, I'm one of. Uh, Nigga, fuck off. Sorry. Go and sit down, Jerry. How did they? Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. No, like, uh, no, no. You know, you no, see, like millennial. It's like this. It's like this. It's a struggle. It's like this. It's like this. It's like this. It's like this. I got it. It's not like that. It's like this. This is it. I get this. Yes, 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 yes. You know what? That's the key. So, like, you're about to say something. No, come on. So, I don't think. So, all these platforms. So, 
a lot of young people, they are the people that are making the hits. It's, yeah. We are not the ones. No, obviously, like, then a lot pop of culture those, demography of, has always been the youngest. So, 18 exactly. to 25, right? Shout out to Eos, so I'm about to give you a, a, a quote that I think I heard from, from him as, as early as like 10 years ago. Culture is violent. Culture is what? Violent. Yeah. It is fucking violent, right? If you are not careful, it's going to fucking destroy you. That's why you I, that's why I feel like people should be aware of the changing times and just stop, yeah. stop being you can't stop you can't hold yourself. it, you times can't control changing. it. I've talked about this thing before. Yeah, we talked about changing. this thing before. Like and it happened during that all third time. Yeah. Because everybody was like, What are these guys that were like, bro? Like, it's not for you. Go sit down. It's not for you. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna mention any names, but yeah. like, she went on a podcast there and she was like, Oh, what are these guys? They're not getting out of development. I'm like, they are not singing for you, bro. Like this is like, those kids were literally doing it for their they like, were, secondary school mates. They were even and going through guys. the actual artist development for their own real time, for bro. their own people. Yeah, no, they, went, own, they went through the artist development, but it just wasn't the orthodox artism. It was yep. exactly it was not but the orthodox. Before we get into alter, we are going to get into it. It's the right audience for it. Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so about this situation, I just wanted to round. I just wanted to surround. You've not rounded it up since. No, give me a second. Fuck off. <laughs> now, if you don't fuck out of here, we just split skates. We was split. Now, <laughs> my shoes always in your hands, bro. Like you wear some nice shoes. When Bukola gets get you your shoe, this time I'm like, but the shoe makes sense. It's your style. <laughs> And that's the problem because everyone knows that you shoot better. <laughs> like, say you get high challenge. Anyway, so, but I, I think that the issue is what young people are participating in. Yes. All of us in this room, we don't use our TV for anything other than football. I don't even use TV. You don't even use TV at all. Do you understand? Me, I watch CNN. Uh, Nigga, fuck off. What's the, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the time you spend on CNN? I watch Arise on, on YouTube, actually. I watch Arise on YouTube. I can't believe. Yeah. Recent, no, no, no. Recently, mm-hmm. I spent a lot more time on YouTube. Because you are watching because, America. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's times. Now, another thing is, you might spend time on TV for Netflix, Showmax, YouTube, uh, Amazon Prime. You can... Prime video, rather, sorry. You can spend the time time on, on YouTube, on TV for those things, but you're not spending time on TV to watch all the music channels. Yep. Right? So it shows you that young people are probably not doing it. Do you know the number one show on MTV now? Ridiculousness. On M- the actual MTV, not Biz. Yeah. MTV. Right? right. As a, the, the show that is that is fine MTV, according to a report that I read last year on Trapito, is Ridiculousness. Hmm. And ridiculousness was shot like over 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah. You know why it's, it's yeah, actually because they just it. found it. Because uh-huh. young people just found it. They just found it. I actually That's saw cool. that they are showing ridiculousness it. a lot more recently. But yeah, I didn't know why. So uh, it, bro, young people just found ridiculousness and it's funny, it's it's timeless content. Mm-hmm. It's not age appropriate. It's not it's not age, it's not dedicated to one age. Anybody yep. can watch ridiculousness and enjoy it. So what I'm saying now is what young people are interested in. There is the only reason why, and if radio stations i hope you are listening to this if you have if you guys really want to survive this why are your face there like you that guys, <laughs> quickly, no i'm giving ideas if you I'm guys radio, really want to survive I'm this, radio, no, 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 i'm not subbing radio oh, my people are on radio if radio really wants ah. to survive this what radio needs to do is radio needs to, radio needs to incorporate a lot of digital one you need to have videos for all your fucking shows I need to start cutting out scissors for all your shows. You need to start teaching like Bre- Bre- Breakfast Club. It's 2024. Two, you need to create internet versions of your radio stations. Have internet radio. Don't oh. play on that shit. Internet radio is not really popping. To be fair, Melody, to be, it's not popping now. It's not, it's not, popping, it's not popping now. To be fair. But get ahead of it. Now, number three, you need to use your fucking social media beyond social just media posting the it, songs that digital. people are playing. Nobody gives a fuck about... The only reason why anybody gives a fuck about that ah, thing God. is right now is because... We want to track if the music that we are we want to play on radio is playing on radio. That's all. That's why anybody cares about what you're tweeting. But to be fair, right? Let me, all these guys actually post on YouTube. I think I've seen a couple of your you know, my bro, my bro, it's the way they are using it. Do you understand? It's like the way it's this is like they're trying to attract 30 plus people. Do you understand? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Melody, you need the shots. Hey, 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 I'm warning you. I didn't match him. I didn't match him. I didn't match him. I didn't match him. I'm going to 
But to be fair, I hear Dennis when he says that the way it's not just about doing it's the content. Plus, yeah. it's, sometimes you feel those you see those videos and you feel like you're doing it for thirty plus. Thank you. I, the, I the, the, the quality of the video alone. <laughs> Bro, I, my I brother, where are the angles? <laughs> you see how <laughs> Liz Dennis shot that video for uh, Victoni's uh, risk, 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 so risk. Funny. Shoot it on your full self is better. I agree. Bro, it's only the, the, at make Aussie cool FM or something. I'm like, why is this camera just positioned and just showing her arm? Like, why am I just looking at her arm? Like, literally, like all I can see is her side view and her arm. And I'm like, bro, like after like three minutes, I'm like, yeah, off. I think really I think for me my only just different utility I just want to listen to like no, the interview no, but to be honest so, so I, would, I, 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 think I might even just play it right. I might just Bro, play it and just I let, let me tell you I, so let me tell you my, my routine then when I was younger I start from top radio 9.9 9. 9, like yeah. Tosin Bokno Palito Abi yeah you yeah, know Palito cool yeah you know, what are you talking about what's it Darugo <laughs> Right. And next thing, like, I think it was when I came to Lagos that they opened, like, 2010. Where are you living, Where are you living for? Like, no, 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 like, I, I, you know, I schooled in Ibadan. So when I came back. Where in Ibadan? I'm, I'm, that's, um, keep that, that information is back in my pocket. Why are you joking? Don't talking? worry now. Yeah, 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 I don't want to be by now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Secondary school there, please. There's, there's Which really secondary no school? I'm in Ibadan, boy, too. Don't worry, I don't know. I will tell you off the show. I'll tell you off the show. They're not looking for me, but I'll tell you off the show. Yeah, owe him money. Did you not play your school fees complete? So I'll, I'll listen to Top Radio and I'll skip over to Cool FM for their sports show. They had one like 7.30 to 8. Really, really great show. Like they had like several segments. I'll skip back to Top Radio and I'll skip into, I think, I'll skip back to Cool FM again. Then back to Top Radio till 11 when they have their sports show till 12. Next day, you go to Ray Power. I think Ray Power like this midday news into like music and stuff. Like literally, I could spend my entire day on the radio and I won't put on the TV for like weeks. I, I hear you guys when you, when you guys talk about the quality of videos, but I think that you guys are being on should I say unnecessarily, but you guys are being harsh okay. on radio because let's not forget that radio did not start out digitally. Melody. Wait, no. Oh. The radio, radio stations where they survive. Well, I'm, I, he, I hear you. I'm responding to him talking about the quality of the content that they show. I did match him. I think <laughs> that, and I, I think that some of these stations actually try with the content that. I agree with you. The station he made reference. They actually I like, try I like, with I like the, the content that. When, they when I really started respecting Cool FM was when they, they started they putting Dotso and um, Kemi Small's morning show, the interviews that they had, they started putting them on YouTube. I was like, okay, maybe Nigeria Radio is, is learning. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, I think they the. The they better the they need to stronger get interviews. young people to shoot those that also can we talk about those damn accents i didn't match i didn't match i didn't match i'm tired bro. i'm so tired like literally i think melody is the only person on radio right now that doesn't talk with an accent <laughs> melody talks she's probably it's I not, no, it's not even that. Right. I think I've seen like two of my interviews and she just sounds like she just sounds I sound like, like you. Know, good morning already. I do not have a date. No, 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 no. It's not that. Can I be the hater? Do I have a radio voice? No, no, no. I don't have a radio voice. I don't have a radio voice. Because I did, I think I'm a bitch. He's like, he's like, he's like, oh, I've heard this voice. I'm like, oh, yeah, it sounds like. He's like, you call me, he's like, you talk when you call me. Ah. Tolani! Tolani, what you do? No, no, that's different now, come ah, on. No, Tolani! Yeah. Tolani! Ah. Oh, 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 I'm going to buy No, no, no. <laughs> so what she <laughs> does is she has a street voice. <laughs> she has a street bro, voice. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you know what, bro? You know your street voice. What are you putting your But I, I heard something that you just said right now. I think you are very, very mad. What are you putting your are you saying that? I actually find that I curse a lot. <laughs> no, but that's fine. Like, but, no, seriously, me. seriously. Let's go back to the accents. Like, honestly, honestly, like, literally, you. Yeah, I'm not there. Please, I, I have like, some, oh, okay. like, I get you. You probably went to like, I don't know, I don't know. Is it Corona? Or whatever, whatever. Oh my God. Went. Like, yeah, fine, yeah. Have fun. Like, do your thing. But now it's like, bro. Like, do you know that SDC song where this guy says, "Where are you from?" and the beep says, "Yeah, like Paja." <laughs> That, that's Clone Wars 2. Clone Wars 4. Four. My friends called me like when I'm Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> so I like, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 I got that last time. Go on, go on. Nah, but, but seriously, like, I think we need to address that because, I mean, I get it. Like, even when I went to Ibadan, like, I'm hearing this person talk, I'm like, I get that. Edu- I'm not saying I know educated young people in Ibadan. 
But I hear them like while well, Ozolu are taking. They are taking shots that's, too. Nobody's taking yes. shots. It's not shots. While they come for him. While they come for him. I will tell you his phone Stop number. Stop interrupting, Dennis. Like sorry, 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 sorry. No, but no, no, but seriously, like we just need to talk about the accent. Like I, I get it. Like when the sound is, I, I kind of get it. But like, I beg, I beg, I beg. Let's. So let's, the, let's the, the reason why the accents are like that is because they don't. But no matter say you. Akure. Akure. He's not one of us. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it's because. You don't. A lot of people don't. This is what I heard because my dad led a radio station, like at some point I retired, and they don't want the radio to be limited to particular audiences they, because if certain accents, Yoruba accent, Hausa accent, Igbo accents are stick, um, s- sticking in, they might affect like the bias of the listeners. So they want it to be as clear as possible. I think that's the said. Speaking no, clear English does not speaking, mean you need to have an accent. Exactly, I agree. It's not I agree, but a lot of times, because of human, the human condition, you can't separate both. And, and I need to tell you something, Dennis. This has nothing to do with the radio presenters. It's more about the people running the station. That's what they want. To I hear you, facts. It's not that. And those ones. Shots fire, Melody. You finally have an opinion. Are we? Are we actually? I mean, we're going to sound really old right now. But did radio did radio fall off like in terms of like just because I could literally I like so. listen to the radio and like people are talking, they're having really good conversations. Uh, do you intend to go back to radio? Sorry. Ah. Uh, Don't talk answer. Then it's go back. Now I just want to say that like before I could listen to people talking and like on the radio oh. for like three, four hours. Now it's like casting. You only want to hear people talking about what? Like what are you talking about? I still enjoy some shows on radio though. I still enjoy what that man um something this way. Is, is this still on radio? Is this still on radio? I can't tell. In the morning. I'm up by most by most. No, it's been a minute too. It was when I was doing. There was a show that I had with Folu Storms that year. When I when I used to. That's another video. When I used to write Danfo to work oh, that year. That's another. Oh, I used to hear that thing on Danfo. That man had fire to give. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was good times. It was and good times. No. Like that was a great show. I don't think it's a really radio falling off thing. I think it's just attention span getting shorter. It's still radio have... falling off. It's not attention span. People, no, it's, 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 it's people you can have... package it anyhow you want. People have diverted their attention. So instead of to watching, question, instead of listening to radio, people are listening to podcasts now. Yep. So and it's, and it's... that's why I'm I'm advising radio to come on digital. Like there are various avenues. Come on social media. The way you are shooting your content must be shot by young people that is tailored to the way young people want to watch content. You guys are just being dishonest. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. Now, the third part is the content is by itself it needs to be in podcast format. Do you know when Breakfast Breakfast Club became a podcast? Do you remember, Dennis? Yeah. It was like 2016, 2015. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. not just Breakfast Club, Ibro in the morning. Yeah, Ibro in the morning, yeah. Like, um, the, LA, LA the Lakers. One on the show of LA Lakers. Um, Sway. Sway's show, Sway in the morning. The one on they were, night seven, All of them were yeah. podcasts, right? I, this is the time. Any radio station that is smart, this is the time to start fucking pivoting. It's the digital drive. And, like... There's no reason why you can't have in, um, re- regular radio and have internet radio. Internet radio is not it's not taking off now, but it will. Again, in like a point. year two. Sorry, before you say, I need to respond to Tonani. You guys, again, you guys are being so harsh on radio, okay. and it's so dishonest. Radios in Nigeria, radio stations in Nigeria cannot be swelly. Cannot be. You cannot be swelly. <laughs> no, man, I'm not asking. I'm not asking. No, I'm not asking. Them to be Wait, that, you so. not, you should not. You should not. Please. <laughs> It cannot be swelly. It's intentional. I'm unforgettable. It cannot be. It cannot be. It cannot be. Stop stressing melody out. It cannot be. Sh- well, nah, 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 that's what I'm here for. It cannot be Chapman. It cannot be Shalaman. Shalaman? Ah, it's not sh- it cannot be Shalaman. Wow. Because there is NBC. Do you think radio? I hear you. Do you think radio broadcasters don't want to go? Hey, but melody, oh what does NBC have to do with uh, people? They are censored. No, pivoting. No, radios can never be. Eh, but that's on air, oh, melody God. on air. Let me explain now. Okay. The internet interviews they will have on radio will be censored that will now will be censored there's so many things that radio presenters cannot say mm. radio presenters salary be getting cut every month for, for having an opinion yeah facts no they'll tell you you have to be neutral yeah. how many radio how many presenters can do you see having opinions on album and saying we don't like they this don't. album because the radio station except wants to you. To the act. except you shut up that's why they don't like oh. you <laughs> <laughs> they because love the radio st- <laughs> because radio owners want to pander to these artists. They want the artists to come. Radio presenters still want to scale up. But I can't blame them for that. Do you understand? They want to make money. The, the ratings and that's also and what that. happened with the breaking of artists and radio stations not playing catch-up. Because at some point, one of the stations started saying, play Bedou. 
<laughs> not business message to discover you and your friends. Because, okay. Because I need you to make it? money. Yes. Yeah. No, no, but so also you know, do you they, think they are trying to also make money? You, NBC be sending be sending bills. every month. I get that. But also do you think because like with Charlemagne, right? He can't you can go on no, radio. I mean, no, no, no. Not to I no, 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 no. I think you need to hear this. And so with him, right? One of the things that he's able to do is he's able to go People on radio and do stuff and tell you that this album is trash. I don't like it. America. Right? Yeah, yeah. But like they will still come back the next day. I'll be fine. That's, um, that's another thing that. So here's like, the here's the reason. Radio stations should also know they will come back. Yes, have the platform. So here's the thing. Exactly. And if the platform is hot. And if that's the platform saying, is, hot. is hot, because hot, people are listening. Back. People are listening to Shalamin to hear. His own honest opinion. Honest opinion, right? It will go here. It will go on the on the radio the and it will tell what you. What I mean now? That's it. No, no, like now it's still, it's still it's still badly based. It's still it's still, <laughs> it's still very very badly based. Just more that Tyler situation. To politicians, Are you joking? that one is different. How you can afford to? She's an African artist, and that situation I don't even disagree with him essentially. You and I work in media, bro. I hate that shit. <laughs> Melody, you work on radio. I hate that. What, you, what's that? Don't tell me what to ask. Don't fucking tell me what to ask. I need to say this, please. I hate it. It is so ridiculous. It is so... It is it's, it's even so disrespectful. Like, and that thing that you are asking, that thing you are trying to run away from, Melody, you can't outrun it. Let me tell you what they are trying to... Let, let, let me tell you what all of this is. Yeah. It's laziness from the team. Facts! Because you won't do media training. Facts! Facts! If you would pay a professional... To, to media, media train, train your artists, artists. your no artists problem. Don't know what to say when they get on. And do you know what? Do you know the best thing? Artists tackling those difficult qu- um, conversations give you personality. Facts. Yeah, facts. Otto. Hundred percent. Ah, my God! Oh, I'm fire, <laughs> my <G. laughs> oh, Fire, fire, fire! <laughs> Actually, I am. So, correct me. But, Melody, baby, I still rate you. Thank you, my love. Fuck off. Why are you rating her? Rest, rest. When she came in today, I said, "Oh, there's no, there's not many fine girls in Lagos. It's yeah, only you." Okay, but have I, yes, did rest, I lie? Rest, rest, rest. <laughs> but, but, guys, as journalists, I feel like we, we do not have a lot of media trained artists and artists that their yeah, their team have put in the work to so train them with that. questions to even like like try. You can even when you hear an interview, you can tell when the artist is not trying. It's like okay, let's go. You know my favorite thing this oh. year. Is after Shalami asked her that question, and Tyler just looked back like, Yeah. yeah. I'm like, why would you? But do like, that? this is one of, I was like, This is your oh moment. My God. I, like, I skipped back like three I'm, times. Like, I was I'm sure. Do you, do you know? Do I'm you know, sure they are told that not to. I have a hot take. I have a hot take. I have a hot take. I don't know who's going to be uncomfortable with it. Oh my God. I think Dennis <laughs> with knows. camera, like, can you guys. <laughs> Dennis knows how I'm about to say. Wait, what? Ira, I know where it's going. Ira Star would have never looked back. Are you joking? That's not nobody will be offended by that. Ira Star. Oh I knew you were going to mention that name because right now there's the whole thing. Ira oh, Star. Ira Star post style. I thought I was going to never post look back. Leave those ones. Ira Star would have ha- answered that question to the best of her ability. But they also have. Joking? They also have very very. I really did answer that question well. So here's one thing, right? They have very 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 dis- different personalities, right? They're not the same. I don't know why they even. Compare. I think they are very similar. They are very oh, similar. How? They are very this similar, is... but they are they are very similar based on like okay, they are both Gen Zs and outlook. outlook. And whatnot, Simish. but like they can oh, also have different temperaments and different personalities. Different temperaments. So, for example, now Arasta probably would have turned out to Bant. To Bant. She would have laughed. She would have gestured it out and just moved on. She's such a fantastic artist and, to interview. And do you understand? Oh, there's there's artists like that, there's people like that that just ha- they just have a flair. She's that type of person that will come in here and ah, Lulu is so funny, but only Arasta didn't become this. If you spoke to her at the beginning of her career, she was always this like this she because she was strong, media trained she before wrong. she came Aside out. Aside from even the media at, training, she's just development. she's just that guy. She's, she's that guy. Uh, so the truth is, as much as you want to say artist development, artist development, at media training, media training, you can only add to what someone you, has. Exactly. I disagree. Actually, I think exactly. I, I she don't media train my artist before. What happened when she came to your show? She did well. As compared to as when she didn't have anything. Wait, wait, wait. As compared to when she didn't have anything, <laughs> but you know what 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 the interview was still. Then imagine if she didn't have anyone. Then she was. Now I was gonna say that kind of question. Like you want to ask someone, I want to ask someone like Tim. She's gonna look at you like, like I feel like she has those eyes of like, I can't believe you are talking to me right now. 
Temps, yeah. Temps, not chairman. Stop it. She's like, like, stop it. Even Temps laugh, you. not chairman laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess she's going to answer you. She's going to answer you, but she must she's she's like, she wants to answer you and you feel stupid. Nah. <laughs> I don't know, first, best part is, she wants to answer you in a very, very, like, like, you're going to be, you'll be realizing in real time that you're stupid. <laughs> in real time, but, like, but, oh, I'm actually but stupid. I, and I always say, I, I, I that. think, but, but I, sorry, Mary, no, go on, Solana. But I think that's part of the problem, branding wise for her. Cool. Oh, yeah, 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 actually. Yeah. Um, terms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Not a problem. Yeah. What? Ex- what? Expert shit on us, please. Please, please, I don't understand. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, like, so I think, I think with Thames, she came out with this mystic. There was a mystic around Thames. Of you have something. Oh, yeah, like, oh, you came out. Match, match. And, and not the brazen, brazen, brazen. I'm not going to be honest. Well, you, are, you are saying, you are I'm saying. Not I'm hearing terms. you. Are not like, you are not slandering. You are not slandering. You are not Thames. Yeah. She came out with this mystique. There was the whole thing. And honestly, like, I, I pers- when I heard Try Me, when I heard Try Me... Mr. Rebel... No, not Mr. Rebel. Um, when I heard Try Luku Me, Luku no, Luku I, Luku. I already heard Luku Luku and Mr. Rebel, but, like, the minute I heard Try Me, I'm like, okay, this might be the biggest artist in the world one day. I Like, might. So it's very, very possible because... I, you know why? It's not It's not necessarily because of, oh, she's talented. But the, the voice the was music, different. The, music, the voice is different. The way that... You know when somebody makes music, there's an aura. I hear you. Thames has aura. Even if she didn't have this as a person, you believe that she has. You just believe immediately. You hear Thames and you're like, okay, like, honestly, go and try. Whatever she's saying, you, it's very believable. Mm-hmm. Did, you, did you guys see when, I, I don't know if it's the video of when she, when she was, oh, I, I saw a video of her performing Mr. Rebel. Fuck. I'm like, if the Mr. Rebel that she's singing about, oh my, if, the guy will be proud if now. he heard this song, I'd be like, <laughs> if now you be Mr. Rebel, <laughs> Shout out to you. Tell bro. me how you felt when you met. <laughs> Nigga, send with, me an email. I agree with you. I don't mention sure anything. When nah. you hear her so, singing. So, let me tell you. So, um, I think so when Nitty when when put her on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> when <laughs> when Nitty put her on the cover with, I don't know, I can't remember. Okay, yeah, Naramali was one of the other covers. We were like, oh, it's too early. And I'm like, bro, if you actually. She came to our office once when I was working working at Nitty. Like, she came into the office once. And like, nobody was acting weird, but we just knew Thames was there. It's the way she carries herself. She just carries herself with so much, so, like so much grace. She's a so very So you just like even fan. even if you're not a big fan, you can understand those that believe her. Like you might not yeah. believe her, but you understand why. Like okay, I get it. Like I agree. Like I get it. Like I just get it. The I agree. voice it precedes her. I think a lot of times. Oh yeah. I think the voice does a lot of the job, right? And then there's something about you her. You think that, about the way she carries herself. No, I think there's something about her that people like. If they. There's something about her that people like. Let's just end there. Right? There's something about her, like, and if you continue to meet that person, you are going to continue liking her. Because, and then she makes music that, because of the voice, the way she uses the voice, and there's something about her face that is very liking. People love, te- people are, there was something that I saw somebody, I think I saw a page that's called Tempsey Smile. What do you think her personality is? I think, I, I think her personality is, architect? is one of those is like so you know when it's somewhere like you just assume that they're just the other person that you don't fuck with they just just has this fierce but chill like she's not gonna be there like even when you watch the like the courting thing that she did like when she's talking i'm like i get it like i get it like i like her music i really like her music her album i think her album is really really good too long but really good <laughs> but it's like <laughs> Damn. I get it. Like every song, as she's opening her mouth. Like, do you know when I was like, when I was like, obviously after trying me, but the next moment I had was when I had on that, on that Beyonce album. I'm like, oh, the fair. rap shit. I was like, fair. Incredible. Like, you know, you know when you hear something, like, I like, 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 love that shit. Bro, you're not thinking about whether the song is good or not. You're just like, I, like I had the way she was going. I just in. said, I get. So you know, Tens is one of these artists that you don't care about the, ins- the instrumentals. Have you ever noticed? I think I think Simi. You don't, you I don't, think Simi is the number one prototype of that. You don't you don't care about the instrumentals. You are listening because of our No, I, I think I listen to the instrumentals. Same you, no, no, the instrumentals are good. Though. I'm yeah. not saying they're not good. I hear you, but, but I'm just saying what you are. You don't remember the instrumentals. You don't remember the instrumentals. I think same, I, I remember Thames' instrumentals. But is that wait? You don't. Maybe it's fortunate. That's true. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> like I watch that. I don't remember years. the production of Luku Luku. I don't remember what it sounds like. You don't. No, no, like no, no. Our voice the, is just the first vocals, I'm hearing. On the, I can't remember. I remember. Ah, our vocals are I remember greatest. That. Our greatest instrument. I hear that. But this conversation now. Let's let's talk about this forgetting instruments and not paying attention to instruments 
on the song or the the thing that makes up the song away from the vocals why i saw the conversation around producer asking for <laughs> the, the turntable producer conversation Odumodu. and Odumodu and saying no you're not supposed to put your name on the song what is it with Actually, we'll do more Melody, we'll before you ask that question, I wanted to ask a question for everybody. I thought we were going to come back to you, but we didn't. Sorry. So sorry. Try to take us somewhere back at the beginning. <laughs> Does David have the classical? Timeless is a classical. I Time, hear you. Timeless, timeless will go down as a classical. It's, it's, to me, it might not be the business album, but that's if a you, album. If sorry. you are going to regard Made in Lagos as a classical album, you regard Timeless as a classical God bless you, my brother in Christ. I don't, I don't think that's the reason, but Dennis is a hater. Anyway. <laughs> I'm not a hater. Like, maybe mm. like, you know, the album, but like, I don't think it's like from top to bottom. Like, there's there's chinks. Like, I just be like, oh yeah, I get it. Like, I think maybe I think maybe Lagos as a body of work. I think it's a much better album than Timeless. Yes? But you know how I feel. I about think it. it's, no. Or, like, if you're talking, like, we are critics. Yeah. Or we used to be critics. Uh, anyway. You guys are critics. Me, I'm here now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just. Because, no, no, no. <laughs> if we're splitting hairs. Made in Lagos is a better album, yeah, like in terms of like, like but, but splitting her critically. Yeah. But like we're talking about everything all together. I'm gonna I'm gonna most likely take Timeless. Most Why? Likely, as a bigger classic. Most likely Nigerian as a bigger classic. classic as a bigger Nigerian Why? classic. I hear you. Because it had more impact. That album came out as Aside time. from so, like everybody wait. Sorry, 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 sorry. So I think <laughs> two things, two things. I, I, obviously, the music is one thing, the other thing is narrative. When Made in Lagos came out, we needed Made in Lagos. And stuff that happened, we needed Made in Lagos. We needed it. Like I'm everybody now. Everybody just needed that. And Made in Lagos are copy DM did that. I hear you. David O came out with an album like sort of early year. It came out, the whole thing that happened with That was the only thing he said. That was the only thing he said. Like I'm coming, like he came out with this album, and the album literally just went. Like I saw people like fighting to get into CBS. I didn't go into CBS, I literally just hung around. Just like I was supposed to be in there, but I just hung around, like just to get. Even show, me that I work in the company, I know good because <laughs> I know it. And then yeah. when people like trying to get in there, like Bruh. obviously you can be any superstar, but like there's that album. Like David has always had connections with Nigeria fans, facts, yep. obviously. Yep. But that album was just more like it just felt like as if people felt the same yeah. joy of him coming out of that. Ask that me, melody yeah. about her mom. Ask melody about her mom and Davido. <laughs> <laughs> My mom is so in. My, mo- my mom knows the video. Fair. Never met. No, 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 not fair. No, no, fair, fair, fair. I'm just saying fair because she has never she's met also a stand. That's what it means. Yes, she has never yeah. met him before, but she knows the video. My son. She, she my son. She, like, mommy, he doesn't know you exist. <laughs> <laughs> Choma, oh my daughter. <laughs> oh, what is possible? I'm a like, mommy. You don't know. Oh, so Nigerians actually love the video. Yeah. Do you understand? And, and it's a thing. I think he's so loved. He's one of the loved artists that I, we have in Nigeria. I think he's the most loved Nigerian artist of all time. Yeah. See? Of all time. Of all time. Uh, that's, all a time. Stretch, bro. that's a that, stretch. That's a stretch. Okay, wait. Fela, Fela, Fela. Give me a second. Fela, Fela, Fela. Wait, wait, give me a second. So, I think for a lot of reasons, a lot of Nigerians didn't see Fela as oh. a moral bastion because of his lifestyle. I think it was more loved after he died. I'm not that. slandering Let's... him, but I think a lot of Nigerians, even though they respected the art and him, what he represented, I think, but a lot of Nigerians, older Nigerians, don't even talk about Davido's flaws as a man. Even though Davido has children by three women, Nigerians don't talk about that. Bro, that's a Nigerian thing, man. Yeah, yeah, but, but people talk about men can do oh, older times, but no, no, older, no, but older also people, time, times men, have changed, bro. We are a lot less hypocritical right now. But I, think, I know what you mean, but, but older Nigerians still. That's but it. older Nigerians still. A lot of the older Nigerians came from the they experienced Fela and they experienced the video. Uh, M- Melody's mom experienced Fela and no, It's not the same, Tolani. It's not the same. I feel like with Davido, I was not, I'm sorry. I was not there when David when Fela was there. I was not alive when he was popular. You were alive. I was alive. Oh, I, no, I, no, I, no, I, alive I was, was alive when he was popular. But I don't. I don't think <laughs> that people had front seats to his life in the way that we had. We have front seats to the video's life. That. I think that now there is more. You can create narratives. You can shit. create more narratives around David. David is seen as the person who is always giving, as the person who is always helping. Personable. Personable. You can the approach high him. chance of calling of the high chance of a regular person going on you. social media to chat. So are, are you saying? Are you saying? Wait right. now. There's a high chance of no. There's a high chance of someone on, on social media to tag the video and getting a response than any 
top artists. Approaching fella in the last, and you can't even approach fella. Even if you go to the shrine, you still no. can't approach him. I hear you on that. Yes. So, question: well, I'm gonna, I'm Do you gonna, think he's not right? No, I, no, I, I think to that point, am I raising? So who is, am I, am I raising Peace Square? I feel like everybody likes Peace Square. People loved Peace Square. I don't think. I feel like everybody they like, love Peace Square music. I, I, I they don't, don't really like Peace Square personality. Personally, that's a lie. Yep. <laughs> The reason, the only time Ooh, people facts. know guys that Melody disagree. Facts. Guys that disagree. Let me tell you when people started questioning the um, Peace Square's personality I started ah, looking, oh, you... I started looking <laughs> into Peace Square's <laughs> personality was when they split up. Well, Before split then, up, yeah. no, they were loved. Melody, I think... But so, no, I think Game Over Peace Square. <laughs> so I'm saying... I, Game I, Over Peace Square as, as, and the one that followed. As an artist, I don't think in the modern era we have artists, except Two-Face, maybe. I will be the band. I but don't think was criticized a lot. A lot. Facts. A lot. A lot. But 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 there's a reason why, aside from his talent, he kept surviving it. The, the music. I don't think so. Huh? I think it was because people liked him still. I think the music was great. Yeah, I agree. But I don't think it was the sole reason. So here's the thing. Here's what I think, right? I don't think personality played too much of a role as of the times when this did. were the. I mean. He did. did. The band. The band. Prime example. The band. Yeah. No, no. I'm not saying that. So, the band had his own, right? But like, he also, in the grand scheme of things, for everybody, did not necessarily play a role. Because how many people were you seeing behind the curtain of the music? That's a good question. I want to go back to the Peace Square conversation. I think Peace Square were loved. Yes. But. I don't think we saw a lot of. I think personality plays a massive role. I think the bands, the band seemed more popular because of his personality. <clears throat> there was a sellable personality. Do you understand? The band coming on stage in a fucking tour at the Headies Award in 2006. Yeah, Do you understand. And the fact that the band, you meet him in person, I say, Mister Endow, who collects, mama collects, till today. Huh, huh. Do you understand? It's a thing, right? With David, David is a product of all of that. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. And on top of that, he's a people person, as a person. He knows how to handle human beings. There's a reason why people... And I think my hot take is, it's an unfortunate bypass of losing his mom early. I, of Tony has of that, that theory. My, my, that's my theory, right? I think he had to rely on people and love people a lot along the way. Right and shared the love that I didn't, it couldn't express to us somewhere to other people. I'm therapizing or whatever. That's my thing. So here's the thing. I don't. And I don't also, think sorry, you're wrong. Sorry. I just can't. Just, I can't. Sorry, just one, just one. And there's also the illusion that he is approachable. Sorry, he is accessible. Yeah, there's that also, also the illusion. That, that, but guess what, man? It works. That illusion <laughs> works. <laughs> That's like, you understand? <laughs> it works. <laughs> it works actually. It works. Yeah. People think he's accept. No, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> Go to Banana Island. And clean. <laughs> no, if you they work for events, if you see taxi, you stay for road. Bag bag baju. You understand? So the pro- I I think the reason why I'm saying is the most loved is because I can see metrics. I'm biased, right? But my era that I like to judge Nigerian music from is '97 till now because that's really where I can yeah, see yeah. things from. And I know a lot about history from the past, or a few things about history from the past. And at different points in history, I can't see anybody that was as loved. That's exactly as... what I was about to say. I don't, because I don't think you are wrong. But no. I also cannot point out one person and say, oh, that this person was more loved than David Doe. Yeah, I can't point it. <laughs> I think you guys stopped me when you mentioned the Pisco personality thing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna. You You're know. not going to go ahead. Anyway, going back to this conversation of David Doe's classic, but time, I think Timeless is a classic. I don't. I think Timeless is going to go down as a classic, mm-hmm. it not because is. it's a Sorry. great album, not because it's a but fantastic the, but album. The, so many, but bro, the so many Nigerian classics that are not that great. Like, so why do you I guys call it classic? Melody was talking about how they activate people to talk about album by twelve o'clock or something. Yeah. There's one YBNL guy dropped his debut. And everybody was like, "Oh, it's a classic." I woke up like five a.m. Like, bro, this album just came out, this and they're like, "This is the best this album guy, since this guy is a Go and sit down somewhere, bro. Like. Give it one year. This guy has been on. Use your ad. Use your ad. You are. Use your ad. I know who exactly. You know exactly who I'm talking about. Yes. No, no, no. It's literally Fireboy. Yeah, obviously. Equal to. Equal to. Remember, album came out like two seconds ago. Someone was like, "This is a cultural thing." I'm like, I'm like. 
please. please take like 50 seats and sit down all Nigerian of them. Nigerian artists, you guys which should one, Which one of the albums? You guys just want to just keep out, bro. I think that Nigerian artists should also... Boy, it's too shy. The person is not lie. I'm not disagreeing. But 12.02 a.m. Boy, it's literally like... It just came out yesterday, bro. Tolani, please shut up without your argument. Shut up. Tolani, up. Tolani, can you predict the cultural research? Shut up. Tolani, you know both of us agree on something. You just... Both of you... Why are you attacking me? Tolani, both of us agree on something. You just a masterpiece. I agree. Which one? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus okay. is the masterpiece. Wait, 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 wait. Why? I disagree with well, don't worry, there's a love. History. There's a love. They know this one is history. That's fine. No, we don't like about this. You when, agree. When Jesus came out, before I realized well, like, it, I told him Jesus, over, over, no, over no, my no, beautiful no, dark no, twist no, no, sister fantasy. No, 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 you are not getting it's not about competition. It's like in I alone. said Jesus was trash. He this was seven, eight years ago. I said he said Jesus is a great album. Right, and I realized it in 2017 or 2018 that you know, it's actually a brilliant album. I think that's the story. So, yeah. I think so. I don't know about great, I don't, but I don't think it's a, it's bad a masterpiece, album. Bro. bro. I don't think it's a bro. bad album. I, so let me tell you. I know for in the albums I put in museums, Jesus is top 10. <laughs> you guys, please, I will please. Can we that means he has like four top albums 10. in top 10. Facts. Greatest albums of all stop time. Now. Say top 10. Please top stop 10 now. Albums. You know what I'm saying? That, albums, that, albums that influence sound. Hello, hello. That same guy has be, um, my beautiful Dark Sister. Mm-hmm. Why is that? Bro, see, see, let's not wait, stop. wait. That, let's not stop. That, let me tell you, as far as, still as, 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 music is concerned, as far as recorded music is concerned, the only person you should mention in your career was as far as discography, Stevie Wonder. Every other person, maybe you can see Michael Jackson. Every other person, TNT, the Beatles. Straight. The Beatles. Okay, yeah, the Beatles. But they didn't last yeah. as long. They didn't last as long. Bro, can you watch which one change the sound like five have, times? For, that guy just kept on shifting times. things. Beyonce. So, no, no, no. Actually, actually. First of all, no, I don't, I don't want that. Let me talk, I think, first of all, calm I think, down. I think I will start from Beyonce. Changing the sound state. <laughs> Beyonce. But that joke can no, die. I think, I think you should start from that. I won't say changing the sound scape. I'm going to you, Rosa. I didn't matter. I didn't matter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you too. Wait, wait, wait. A black a black male artist. Country yeah, doing we, country music. To this thing again. Be, melody. Billboard no, Hot no, 100 no, number no, one. No, 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 no. If you like your life. Billboard Hot 100 number no, one. No, because of Beyonce, a black country artist. Let's not do that. I, here's what I think. I think Beyonce. An Igbo man. Sorry. Let's not do that. Chibuye. She gave Chibuye. us. Chibuye. She gave us. Um. I think, no, let's not. I electronic think, music. Actually, gave I us think, country. Actually, gave us R and B, gave which, us pop, gave us electronic music, which dance one? music, that's, that's uh, album, the, this thing now. That's what that's that's but that's I, I think that's 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 like twenty thirteen. From that self-titled album, like if you're like, no, I think was, I think was, I think no, four, no, I think four, four no, is a great album. Four was a rich, four, I don't think four is a great album. Four the You don't think, bro? In the list of Beyonce's greatest, bro, four is a list album. No, no, no. Ah, Tolani, why did you say this no, thing? Tolani, no, okay. Let's not do that. I'll probably, I'll probably put Sasha Fest at the list one. What? Yes, this song, but it's not a great album. Bro, it's a great album. Wait, that's that's you know Sasha Fest two discs? I know. Bro! That's exactly why again. It's Sasha Fest is a great long. album. I think it's a good long. album. It's too long, bro. Um, CJ is just a cut-off shot. Beyonce is a good CJ album. Is Who else? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, think, think we should wrap it up. You guys, we've not talked you about so many things. Please, Beyonce, before, is, Beyonce please, is a good album. It's okay, we've heard about Beyonce. Please, you guys, protest. No, no. Are before you guys protesting? Before we get... Wait, wait, Tolani, do Tolani, we don't have time. We Tolani, have we, time. we don't have time. Yeah, CJ is trying to rush us. Oh my God, Tolani, we don't oh, have guess time. What? Guess what, guess what, guess what. I didn't match him, I didn't match him. Are you guys protesting? Are you guys protesting? Are you guys protesting? No. Are you guys protesting? Are you guys protesting? Can you guys wait now? Tolani, we don't have time. Oh God. This guy does not listen. He never listens. Wait. I I don't think Beyonce is a poor artist. Leave Beyonce alone. Come, Come back now. to Nigeria. Beyonce is a what? I don't think she's a poor artist. I think she's great. Right? Mm-hmm. And I think she's... I think Beyonce is arguably the most popular artist in the world right no, that's not true. Yes. In the world, no, she's not. Over Taylor, she's not. She's not. She's not. We're not talking about biggest. Uh, we're not talking about biggest. Popular, bro. Popularity. Popular. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, like people. We're talking about perception of being great. In Nigeria, bro, you can, I do Taylor Swift. I be like, oh, this Taylor Swift album. Like every Beyonce yeah. album comes out. If you don't like it, you just shut up. Don't talk. Okay, so you can say Taylor, right? Is big. And she drops yeah. like five versions of this album. And, and, and the music. Away. Let's be honest. The music Taylor, if Taylor makes a hip hop album right now, Beyonce makes a hip hop album. 
whose hip hop album do you think people will listen to the more across the, the world? The blacker person now. Thank you very much. <laughs> so you I think I think the word you, I think the word you can use to describe Beyonce is she's the most respected artist. No, I think she's definitely the most popular. I don't think popular. I, well, I'm, not, I'm not talking about just numbers. No, I'm, I'm not talking about numbers. Though. Like, that, not, not numbers. No, oh, okay, cool, cool. That everybody I'm talking about that. Popular. Of course, it's Beyonce. Of course, Beyonce is the most popular. Over Drake, of course. Yes. Yeah. Over Drake. Think, over Drake. Yeah, over Drake. I, I think it might be close, but I think Beyonce is more. I think for Beyonce is more. Think think Beyonce is more, Beyonce more reverence. So I think popularity. Yeah, I'll say some, something. I hear you. On I think reverence. Drake drives conversation. I think it's reverence. Beyonce drives conversation on different. Respects. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Two layers, bro. Like I'm saying, for Beyonce is reverence. Beyonce in terms of depth. Reverence. You can talk about, like, reverence. Like, you can talk about Beyonce with depth. It's reverence. Performance. Not that much. I think for Beyonce, it's reverence. News. If you are, if you are, if you are going across all of those categories, Beyonce. Yes. yes, but I also Bro, think that you also go do tour, go sell and give Amazon Prime. <laughs> it's just the way she is. It's just the way she carries herself. Actually, she's she's such Peace a bar. very artist. Go and do African album. Oh my God, sorry, Disney Plus. We're not the Africa. <laughs> No, Shut up. No, man, no, man, no, I, think, I think it's reverence. It's reverence. Africa, I'm supposing Africa. So much so that when people that. don't like it, they can't say it. It's Africa, reverence. I'm supposing Africa. I'm supposing Africa. <laughs> so like, shop brands, skin, what honestly, let's talk about, like, objectively. Obje- we're talking about objectively. Like, bro, you can't objectively come and be like, oh, Beyonce is trash. Oh, you guys No, you can't. She's overrated. Overrated is such a blanket. Bro. Because, because nobody wants to go there. Because the fact that she's popping. That's mm. And Bro. also because people don't Everybody want to love me Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. As a Beyonce, no, yeah, Beyonce fan, yes, Beyonce. as a Beyonce stan, I will not come out and say I don't like this Beyonce's music. Of course you can't. Do you understand? What are you and there's so many people that cannot do that, even people that are not Beyonce stands, because of reverence. I think people just people and people, people fear also fear, people fear, fear you people <laughs> fear behind. You people and, are toxic. No, because she also puts in so much work. You can literally touch the hard work. Toxic. Miss <laughs> Kid FC times. Anyway, yeah. Shout, shout out, shout out, uh, Taylor's uh, fans. Swifties, mm-hmm. I want there to touch you. What? There was that Beyonce, BF. Swifties. For a writer gave a, a, a big fuck writer literally wrote a review and put your review like destroyed it. Eight over ten. Eight over ten. <laughs> and they came, bro. They were Swift. doxing the writer. Swift. I'm like, bro, over, me over bear. Please, I'm going to post a video. No, I'm, like, I'm sorry. I know. I'm like, I retract this. <laughs> Take this down. <laughs> they were doxing no, her. No, they were. Are you serious? Eight? Nah. Eight over ten, bro. bro. Taylor Swift. Eight Taylor Swift 10. wrote a news. Melody, you are you are on the table for this, by the way. Have you seen that the the documentary? I'm going to finish you. No, I haven't seen that documentary. Is very, very. I'm going to we finish you. Nice, you are finished. Nice Your reputation <laughs> is in the gutter. What happened? Your reputation uh, is done. Tell me what it's not coming back up. Who? You are done. What's your reputation? <laughs> anyway, now, some years ago, when Taylor Swift came out and said Scooter Braun has been after her. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Have you seen the documentary? No, I haven't. You know, we, except I said, we're, con- we're correcting you. Yeah, Tony said, I remember. Listen. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow, I remember. You were doing supporting women, supporting yeah, women, I remember. supporting women. But they said that she was, she, was, she was looking for sympathy. You are finished. Did you? Yeah. You are finished. Apparently. You are finished. I have a You are finished. Is, don't worry, worry. Go and watch it. I'll watch it, actually. Go and watch the documentary. When you so come she back, lied. apologize. She didn't lie, but she also didn't. Tell you. She didn't paint the picture in the entirety. Wow, that's wild. Well, typical Nigerian artists. <laughs> they match her, man. They match. Her. Anyway, back to what you were saying. You guys, before we wrap up, are you guys protesting? What do you think about the protest conversation? Do you I think they it's... match them? I they match them? I they match them? I they match them? I mean, I think it depends, on, it depends on the first day. Let's see what. The what protests day are you? Protesting. The protests about that the young people are asking for uh, asking that people should come out to protest against bad governance and I'll protest and poverty. I protest. I mean, I will protest because I'm poor. <laughs> Please, please, that's my mother. Please, my mother was telling me. I told my mother like this. They go like, "Mommy, you need to recognize that I'm not. I'm, I don't know what you what you think that I am. Like, I'm not rich." You say, "Eh? You are rich in the mighty name of Jesus." I'm like, "Mommy, I'm like, I'm like do you understand? Please." But I genuinely think that what is offending me about this protest conversation is the fact that people are trying to make it a political thing and inferring that people want to come outside because of the opposition party paid them. And I think politicians that are in power need to stop doing that. It's dishonest and it's manipulative. That's an idealistic viewpoint. <laughs> like, I, 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 if you were in power, you're going to be paying people, nigga. It's at the end of the day, that, that's their only... That, when you get into politics, you're going to pay That's people. their only weapon people against are, People it, are protesting like, because people are hungry. And I uh, feel like refusing to have that conversation... Melody, you I said people are hungry, Abby. Mm-hmm. What's going to solve hunger? Money. Okay. 
Please read this thing. Answer. Please read it out. We are no longer investing in Nigeria due to currency concerns. What do you mean? You reply. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's one found. I posted I, it on Twitter. I saw it. It was ridiculous. And I'm like, I get it. The guy just said, okay, okay, as far. Bro. I, I get it. I get why people are protesting them. Because this one is now found, found that this is a tech bro. tech bro. I saw the post. So, like, this is a tech bro. Like, he's, she's not broke. People are literally pulling out of Nigeria. Like, companies are not, are not looking to invest. Um, why, why is it that we come on this podcast and we have talking points? But Story. We just defy. Food stuff is expensive. I, I don't Future, know. You need to calm down. Full stuff is expensive. But would you, you guys go out though? Eh? Would you go out? Yeah. I'll go out and protest. I protest I protested during answers. You know? I you got know. myself there. Even though Nigeria is no But there's also safety concern though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but... I mean everybody's protesting. Like this week in Uganda, um, like yeah. they protested two days and like Journalism. People were just like journalism. Uh, they, just they, they didn't like. They were just presenting them in court at five pm, and just was like remand is prison. Like they didn't even eh? allow them to <laughs> so, post bail. Like just stay in prison tonight. Like, you come back. So that's all you're yeah, enjoying. You see that you need to come back to music. You, that wa- I'm learning so much. That's all the reason I'm coming. But like, but yeah, it makes sense. When you start coming, you sound out, bored. But I also, I also understand people that don't want to go out because they don't trust you the sound system. Bored. Well, maybe well, the people who died. died. Yeah, yeah, shout out to everybody that was from Rest Cover Story. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly reportedly. People were allegedly gone down. He's in allegedly. Allegedly to get. Do you want to be gone now? No, I'm even saying that I understand people not wanting to come. Uh, apprehension is that. real. I agree. Because na, na alive man, the Japa. I agree. And you are so tired. Meanwhile, shout out to that with the model situation. Which, what did you people think about it? What do you think about the conversation around producer? Um, let me just read out the tweets. Every time we do this, the reason we started late today because only came forty-five minutes late. Let's just put that out there. No, the mail will not kill you. How's your business? Was it forty-five minutes? I don't care. That's what I said. Okay, cool. He <laughs> said, "Okay, cool." He <laughs> said, "He said, okay, cool." That's your lie. Okay, fine. Let's run with it. Today we're done. We're done. It's costing us already. Yeah, he said we should go away. He said we should go away. So let me just read out the two that we sign out. So basically, the conversation was around the producer, <laughs> KD. Turntable presented. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you start? You used that opportunity. <laughs> KD, KD No, no, your voice has been low this week. <laughs> so, okay. Don't even present Larry Lane's um, with his plaque. with his plaque for for plaques. Co- plaques for co-producing Dog Eat Dog Two by Odumodu featuring Belashmoda and San- and Santi. And Santi. And um, Odumodu said he did not co-produce anything. He added only one thing on Bella's verse, which I did not ask him to add. Dog Eat Dog was fully produced by It's UC. Please go and collect your plaques back, or you send exactly the same plaques to. Afro selector, if that's how you guys run your P. Journalist. Then it's about my love first. Me? Yeah, what do you think? Uh, it's, not a, it's not that deep now. Like, a song went three times platinum. My name is on the credits. My, I'm going to pay for the plaques. They say I'm eligible. I'm going to collect my plaques. My life is not hard. Let's move on. I don't know what it is that it felt personal between Odi and that guy and Larry Lays. Which is funny because I like both of them. I have, I have a relationship with both of them. And I don't understand why that has to devolve into a social media problem. I'm if, even talking about it more from the production credit thing perspective. Yeah, so that, and that's what I'm going to. Because either it's a co producer or an additional producer, he has credit on it. He's entitled to get fucking plaques for it. So you can't have a problem with the fact is that he's getting plaques for it. And if you see is also my guy i love him right he also mentioned that first that that's my guy Bro, i'm going to call him i'm sorry um if they want they are the ones that produce they are the main producers then they can pay for the plaques kd oh they phone plaque no i'm not only hey they saw okay about plaque it won't need i'm like uh, we want part that i don't understand about nigerians i think you guys are fucking stupid by the way yeah i'm not playing like we go just we they watch oh. podcasts with the Give us. Oh. I'm sorry, but you just I, day. I'm going to sound really elitist. Stop giving opinions about things that you don't have. But well, who started the opinion? Giving give, give, the opinion is the opinion I'm talking about. I know is, you're talking about. Let me get there. Okay. You know the one I'm talking about. Yes, I do. Nigerians, you need to stop giving opinions about things that you don't fucking know. Shut the fuck up, mm-hmm. right? The overwhelming opinion of this is people are paying for plaques. 
Oh, oh, everybody, for everywhere they collect plaques for everywhere. Rich Nigeria, to Nigeria, they play for plaques. Go and collect the platinum plaque in America. Go and see how much it charge, how much it costs. You stupid fuck. It's called Wafe La. Go and collect a, go and collect a silver plaque. Since you have knowledge, what day? Wow. No, like Nigerians are so dumb. People just they they came they come watch uh, podcast. They, they collect. But I think I think that generally it's so stupid. I generally think that people should stop arguing about what they don't know. Like stop arguing about things you don't know. I, like I, why are you saying oh originally every you don't like shout out to Ileri your guy shout out to Ileri XO that's my G right he's the one that said <laughs> my guy American plaques ain't free bro you think they are free. Well, ask Bizu and Tega maybe how much they pay for their plaque. But I also think us. that, shout out to the producer, Mio, my conversation in this is, shout out to producers and the work that they are putting in into building their brand. That's Let producers. nobody convince you Some that you shouldn't, yeah, you shouldn't put yourself out there. You shouldn't ask for your credit. You should not, you know, keep doing your branding. If you put in, regardless of what you're imputing, I also feel like all these people are doing mixing and mastering. All of you, Please don't let anybody try to tell you. Even A and R, A and R. Everybody you collect your credits. So long as you were in the studio let's, when they produced the song doing... and you contributed yes. to it, don't let anybody try to tell you that I, I only want song or get three tag. So A and R, put chop. your tag on the song. The person that chop. I want to respect in this situation is Kanye West. We cannot chop. <laughs> Please, mm. oh. tell people you produce E on Kanye West track. You're you are in the room. You are in the room. He said you had to divide. See, they will drag you. They will drag you. A and R, come. Mama, mama, one leg. A and R, and Tiger Jen. A and R, the stuff on Twitter, sir. No, no, ah. no. This one, I, no, uh, it's not even Bila Yama. It's uh, what's the other one? A and R. That one has red and black. Sumac fire, man. <laughs> <laughs> tell them, tell them, Lulu, say you should put your plaque. Lulu, <laughs> she able. Tell them, Lulu, say you should put your plaque. Where your plaque? Where your own plaque? Where your <laughs> You don't worry they about it. Okay, if we are not plucking me. No, yeah, that's what they call it. They get that again. Did you see Shea Banks' plaque some years ago? Okay, oh, fake plaque. Oh, oh, Galulu. Galulu lost on what? Oh, no, what? You are badly behaved. Anyway, that being said. Yeah. <laughs> let's play. Like, Lulu come with one euro, so one Lamborghini euro. If you sell out, you can buy it. I didn't match him. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we I come to the, to the end of a fantastic episode of the Zero Conditions for Us. Shout out to Dennis, shout out to Lulu. I don't know what Melody is wearing, but give me your shoe plug. I want to order something from there. Or you can pay for it, actually. Also, <laughs> I'll send you my next oh, bill, bro. You are, fu- you if, are stupid. If, if Melody matcha. I pay matcha. Why not buy Put on please. Let's not go there. Let's ah, not go there, please. All right, think for <laughs> <laughs> That's a sad conversation. Guys, um, thank you for working with us on this episode. Um, shout out to Shiva Sugar, our, our sponsors on this episode. Shout out to Pop Central TV, Channel 189 on DSTV. You want to get at us, get at us on social media. If you want to send us an email, zeroconditionspod at gmail.com. Um, shout out to CJ that didn't allow us to finish this podcast. Shout out to Bagada Traffic that allowed me to be late. Why are you laughing? You say CJ is even waiting for you. Dennis, they need you back to start talking about Nigerian music. Don't be addicted. Dennis, I miss you. Fuck you, Dennis. I don't miss you. I miss you. Um, shout out to our lady in the back that came to support us. Uh, we really appreciate you. I'm, I can't lady. mention your name. Shut up. Shout out to... Who am I going to shout out to? Shout out to nobody. Please follow us across all social media platforms. No, 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 no. At Zero Condition yeah, Podcast. Yeah, no, no, no. What are you saying? Kilodi. Tony should stop. Who cares about Tony his face? What happened to him? Award winning face. <laughs> Follow us across all social media platforms at Zero Conditions and subscribe to our YouTube page at Zero Conditions. Keep Pod. dropping comments. That's also what you think about yes, this episode. Yes, actually. About Lulu and, we're uh, listening. We're, we're actually you know? listening and we're watching. Lulu get crashed this episode. I, I see. Uh, with my full chest. <laughs> with my full <laughs> chest. He did. I did now. I called him on, on, on Monday. I said, I'm coming to come and lie on your, on your podcast. <laughs> you should come. <laughs> You don't but, fuck up. It's been, it's been a good episode. <laughs> you should come back. Thank you guys. Really I... All right, guys. It's a wrap. See you soon.